Hey everybody, I'm back. So today I'm going to do a pedicure on my friend. And as you can see, it's just like a metallic silver, black underline, and then if you can catch in the light, just a star with those little dotty poos. So that's the look we're going to do today, and she's going to be recording for us, okay? So, I'm going to show you what we're going to use first. We're going to go ahead and use LA Colors Color Craze. It's a metallic silver. It doesn't really have a color, I mean a, a name to it. We're going to go ahead and use Sephora by OPI Base Coat. A white liner polish by Navy. And a black liner polish by LA Colors Art Deco. So I'm going to go ahead and do the right foot right now. So you start off by putting some embarrassing separators in between the toesies. And she has such little toes that they won't stay in. We're in a fight. This is a fight. Okay. Her freaking small little toes. Okay. I already put on the base coat. So again, you're going to use this base coat, Sephora by OPI, and put it on the nails. And then we're going to go ahead and use LA Color Craze. And it's like, it's their metallic nail polish collection. And it's like a silver. Okay. Sorry about that. She was recording my feet and I didn't want my feet recorded. So we're going to go ahead and start by making a French tip. You can do this by putting the little like kiss liners on the white strips or however you like to do it but I just like to do it with my eyes and then if I mess up I just clean it up with a q-tip or, or a brush and a nail polish mover I just made a mistake I made a mistake right here. Okay. You gotta go more down the nail as you get to the right and left side so it kind of gives you that curve that the French tip gives you. Okay, and on this little baby nail, I'm just going to go ahead and do the tip. She has like the tiniest little pinky nail. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry for a second. I'm gonna clean off any little edges I messed up on. Then you're going to go ahead and do a quick second coat over. Make sure that's all even. So I'm kind of extending a little. I did a little too thin at first. And now I messed up. That is just my look. So I'll fix that with a Q-tip after. Then 
reason why her foot is on my knee this way is because it would have been easier to record versus doing it the opposite way and the lighting's pretty bad in my room so it's all right before that dries we're going to go ahead and get some acetone get the q-tip soaked and just clean up anywhere we missed up that we didn't want too much of the gray Not perfect, it's alright because we're going to line it with the black, anyways. So, not to worry. Then we're going to take the black art deco and get all the extra off of the base of the brush and kind of swirl the brush around so we don't get any drips while we're doing this. So we're going to go ahead and line it. And we're going to go over it a second time, so if you didn't get it perfect, we can fix that always. Continue to do that on every toe. And if you get a little too thick, just always going back over it with. Q-tip, so I'm not too worried. Okay, so let's go over it a little bit more. So we make sure we have a nice, solid line. This one could always thin out, but I'll do that later. Okay. Then after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and let it dry. Make sure that everything's okay on the tips. I think I'm gonna darken up this tip real quick. Like we did with the black one, we're going to go ahead and make sure there's no excess on the base of the brush. Get it all off. Then we're going to draw. That's good. 
good as we can. A little star. You're gonna go ahead and fill that in. I gotta touch it up. Okay, my star's not perfect, but we're going to pretend it is. Then you're going to get out the black nail art deco once again. Clean off the edge of the brush. I'm going to get a little bit on your brush. And we're just going to go ahead and make three dots. This first one being a little, just thick. opposite way. This one's going to be the biggest right here. A little smaller. And the smallest. Kind of messed up on my first row of dots. But you can always go back and fix it and I'll show you how. Again, we're going to grab some acetone nail polish remover. Just get a little bit on there. I'm going to go ahead and just remove the dots. And now we can redo the next two so they're not touching. Okay. So, we'll make the second one a little bigger than the first one, and the third one all the way bigger. Okay? And then once again, I'm going to show you both toes, see how they came out. Excuse my handy dandy camera. And all you have to do after is that is put a top coat on it. And you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple but cute nail art tutorial. Have a good day.